Hey everybody, hunter, fisher, trapper, trader, guide, scout, and interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall, here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with the prettiest camera girl in the world, pretty Miss Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Are you ready for a change of pace? Hi. Because we got a lot of burger recipes. We got venison burgers. We got bacon wrap burgers. We got all kinds of burger recipes on our channel, but we don't have tuna burgers. Come on over. I'll show you all the neat ingredients we're going to put in here. They're delicious and, like I said, a great change of pace. Let's get started. First of all, we opened up two five-ounce cans of tuna, drained it, and we put it in a bowl over here, and it's in water. Don't buy the tuna that's in the oil. It says five ounces on here. Then underneath it says four ounces dry weight. I guess that's after you run the juice out of it. But we're looking for the five ounces on the top there. That's good enough. Two five-ounce cans of tuna drained, and we're going to put that in there. And again, this is the tuna that's in the water. That's packed in water, not oil. Then, to this, we're going to include one egg, lightly beaten, in there. One stalk of celery. Now, this recipe really kind of calls for two stalks of celery, but you know me, I'm just not big on celery. So I'm going to go with one big stalk, real fine chopped celery in there. We're going to use a quarter cup yellow onion in this recipe. That really kind of pops in that tuna burger. Three quarters of a cup of just regular breadcrumbs. And what did I measure out here? A half a cup of mayonnaise. And that's it. Those are your ingredients. And we're going to mix this around. You know, most recipes you've got to be careful not to overmix it. This don't matter, because it's just going to be made into patties anyway. So let me get this mixed up real good here and be right back with you. All right, our little electric fry pan's getting plenty hot here. We got our tuna mixture all whipped up in our bowl there. We're going to dump in a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil in here. And then with my beautiful little blue gloves, I'm going to see if I can't form some patties. And I'm going to make some pretty good size patties here because I've got, let me get over here and mold them around a little bit, well maybe a little bit less. I got some large, extra large hamburger buns. I just like them. Hear that jet going over Sheila? We let those kids borrow our plane and they just fly it everywhere and they won't park it. I don't know what the deal is. Let's see if we can't lay them in there. These are going to make nice. Now you can make these a lot smaller for little teeny buns, that kind of thing. But I'm going to make a couple of pretty good ones. I'm going to put the rest of this in the refrigerator for later. You want to eat up what you make or refrigerate it. And I'd say Eat it up in no more than two days in the fridge. Get my little patty looking pretty good here. All right, get the second one laying in there. Now remember, this is cooked. Tuna is already cooked when it comes out of the can. You can just eat it out of the can, obviously. So we don't need to cook it done. We just need to brown it. So we're going to do that now that I got that in there. See if I can get my pretty little blue gloves off here. Take a peek at this first one under there. I might turn these a couple of times. Boy, that looks wonderful. Doesn't that look just terrific? I'm thrilled with that. Got one little crumb. I'll just mash him down on top of the other part. Can you see them little rascals down in there, Sheila? Yes, you can. Turn that one over, too, because like I said, I don't want to burn them. I started out with this electric fry pan on high, so I might bring it back just a smidgen, kind of like the high mid. And let me get these browned up really super good. Well, Sheila just reminded me that I was making the patties off to the side so you couldn't see it. I should have been making the patties a little bit smaller because I'm so used to hamburgers kind of compressing and shrinking, and these don't shrink at all, but they are done. And look at here, <laughs> we've got oversized tuna burgers on there. Wow, we yes. Let me move this off to the side and see if we can save this here. There we go. Awesome. And one little straggler. He's 
but I'll leave him in the pan so they don't make the picture look bad. I'll move this over. I'll be back to get you. And let me set this down for a second and just move this little griddle off the side. When you go up to McDonald's and we order fish sandwiches, Sheila loves shredded lettuce on her fish sandwiches. So I thought, why not put a little shredded lettuce on here? And you know the real reason I'm putting shredded lettuce on here? Because we don't have any lettuce and I didn't want to run to the store and all we had was some lettuce from a salad that we made a big salad last night, had some left in the bowl in the refrigerator. So I went through there and picked between the peppers and the onions and the cucumbers and I got some shredded, well there's a hunk of, of uh, celery right there from last night. So. Oh, I'll take that. Will you take that? There you go, Sheila. I'll give that to you. <laughs> All right, crunch away. Then I thought as long as right here, I always use the wrong tool, so I'm going to use a fork here. And I'm going to give this just mayonnaise is in the recipe itself, but I just thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a little bit of mayonnaise on that top bun right there? And what do you think, Sheila? That's pretty. It does look pretty, don't it? There you have tuna burgers. <laughs> extra large tuna burgers when we throw the lid on this looky there when I get it in the plate you're gonna have to take a fork and knock the edges off and eat them but I don't care I think they turned out pretty good you can't go from corner to corner like that, <laughs> no I can't cut that corner to corner <laughs> it's too round there you have it what do you think Sheila looks good. not too bad huh you know, because I seared these up nice and golden brown, they got that crunch to them. I haven't even taken a bite of the hamburger yet, but I've been nibbling off the backside because it doesn't show in the picture, and it's really crunchy, and the flavor of this tuna is really, really good. And you do really want to kind of brown it up golden brown because it does have a raw egg in there for those of you that worry about that. I don't, but I got to tell you, I can't wait to take a bite of this with the bun and the mayonnaise and the lettuce in conjunction with all this crispy and crunchy tuna patty. And if you don't want the bun at all, just make a nice little bed of the lettuce at home, fry up a couple of those little patties and put that on there and just eat it straight up because it's fantastic once you get that little crunch on there. I hope you enjoy this recipe and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's pretty easy. The little shotgun red face will pop up over here in just a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. Right next to that check mark, I have a bell. If you click on that bell, they'll send you every one of our recipes and we really hope you do that. I'm going to put another recipe over here. It'll pop up so you can click on it and watch it as well that you might like. And is this the best crunchy Sheila shredded lettuce and mayonnaise burgers you ever ate? Tuna burgers you ever ate? If it ain't, it ought to be. This is Steve Hall in Nashville, Tennessee saying can't wait to turn the camera off so I can take a real bite of this. Did you enjoy this, Sheila? Yes, I did. I know you love tuna and you love shredded lettuce and you love mayonnaise and you love these little grilled buns. You're going to love this. See you next time. Bye-bye.